This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to my house of horrors. Chapter 941, Homeless Kids in the City The crowd at the haunted house only dispersed around noon. Seeing that no one dared to challenge four-star scenario, Chen Gu had parts of the ghost employees return to their own scenarios. As more and more scenarios unlocked at the haunted house, there was a clear problem, Chen Gu did not have enough employees. I need living employees that are reliable and ghost employees that I can reason with. Chen Gu sat in the staff break room and toyed with the black phone. He looked at the spinning wheel that operated based on the visitor's scream, and his fingers wandered over it. I've spun out four baleful specters. If I get one more, my title will upgrade. I desperately need employees now, but what change will happen after my title is given an upgrade? His fingers tapped on the table, and Chen Gu narrowed his eyes. The haunted house has collected an exorbitant number of screams already. Should I throw caution to the wind? After all, the title will eventually upgrade. If I use all the screams now and spin as many times as I can, I might get something other than a baleful specter. That would be a good thing, but Chen Gu was worried that he might get all specters, which would be big trouble. Never mind, I'll wait for the visit to Futuristic Theme Park to be over before I try anything else. These things can't be forced. Chen Gu abandoned this dangerous idea and lay down in bed. He was about to rest when he got a call from Director Luo. Xiao Chen, are you sure you can handle the visitation to the Futuristic Theme Park tomorrow alone? I thought you would take some employees with you. Director Luo was worried about Chen Ji's safety. Don't worry, even though I am alone, I have many people who will lend me their support. Chen Gu was not worried. Director Luo, how was business today? How was it compared to the futuristic theme parks? The visitor number and turnover were not as high as theirs, but were not that far behind. Director Luo sounded confident. The next few days will be key. As long as we can successfully survive this holiday period, we will have enough assets to upgrade our equipment and do something else. That would be wonderful. But you have to be careful. The success rate of the futuristic theme park is not as high as they expected, and they lost face today, they might come after you tomorrow. It's fine. I'm not worried about them. If anything, I'm worried they won't come after me. Chen Gu smiled into the phone. As long as you have confidence. Other than that, I must remind you of something. The theme park is important, but you have to care about your health. Don't think that you can do anything you want because you are still young. After that, Director Luo hung up. Director Luo has always been kind to me. Is it because of the haunted house or Luo Ruoyu? Chen Gu put down the phone and stopped thinking. He ignored the chaos that was happening on the internet. He hugged the white cat and fell into a slumber inside the staff break room. At 6.30 p.m., New Century Park ended the day's work. Everyone had worked their asses off for the day, but they did not feel tired or bogged down. The previous New Century Park was like an old man who was entering his twilight years, but that day, it was given a second breath of life. Everyone who treated that place as their home finally saw hope. The employees at the haunted house were tired to their bones. Chen Gu gave them an early break. He took the broom and mop as he cleaned around the haunted house quietly. This was something that he had to do every day. Cleaning this old place would give him some semblance of stability and order. At around 9 p.m., Chen Gu had a simple dinner. He was about to leave New Century Park to head to the mannequin workshop when he saw a student standing at the bus stop across from the road. The child had been watching New Century Park. She stood alone in the shadows, and she wore a crumpled school uniform. Is that the uniform from the school of the afterlife? After recognizing the outfit, Chen Gu immediately jogged over, but when he crossed the street, the girl disappeared. Where did she go? Narrowing his eyes, Chen Gu soon discovered an old exercise book left where the girl had been standing earlier. Turning it open, there was only one sentence written inside the book. Now that the home is destroyed, I have nowhere else to go. This is one of the students who left the school of the afterlife with me. A small part of the students who left the ghost school managed to wake up from their coma, but most of them had nowhere else to go. Chen Gu held the exercise book and looked around. 
He said with sincerity, if you don't mind it, why don't you follow me? The pedestrians thought that he was mad and walked away from him. Chen Gu did not think much of them, he held the exercise book and continued to scream. A few seconds later, the girl in the crumpled school uniform walked out from the shadows. Her hands were gripped together, and she looked nervous. It's okay. I promise that if you guys have nowhere else to go, you can come and find me anytime. Chen Gu extended his hand at the bus stop that was empty. You can call me Chen Gu or boss, whichever you prefer. We have a big family, and everyone is very nice. Air. Would you like a glass of milk tea? There's a new store that just opened near here. Come, I'll treat you. Under the streetlights, the city flickered by. Cars rushed up and down the road. Chen Gu approached the pedestrian crossing, talking to himself, occasionally laughing like a child. My House of Horrors Chapter 942, New Nightmare Mission Looking at the passing cars, Chen Gu held two cups of milk tea and walked down the secluded path. From the conversation with the girl, he found out that she was a student from the School of the Afterlife, and other than herself, there were many lost students who were wandering around the city because they had nowhere else to go. Do you know their location? We'll bring them back. The girl did not reject Chen Ji's suggestion. They first returned to New Century Park to grab Yen Danian's comic and then went searching for the other homeless children. They busied themselves until midnight, and by then, there were about 60 lingering spirits of homeless students in the comic. They were mostly from the same class as the girl. Most of the students had already given up, waiting for the sunlight to disperse them, but Chen Gu had shown up before then. Do you have any friends who might need help? Chen Gu patiently confirmed with every student. After making sure that he had not missed anyone, he returned to New Century Park. He summoned O.L. Zhou, Duan Yu, and O.L. Bai and had them introduce the haunted house to the children, settling them into the school of the afterlife scenario. This four-star scenario had a serious lack of employee, so the arrival of these students helped Chen Gu solve a big problem. If only you guys had come a day earlier, oh well, this is Lu Gang's loss for his inability to experience the true terror of this four-star scenario. After settling the students in, Chen Gu returned to the staff break room. I'm going to the futuristic theme park tomorrow. I'd better get to sleep early today. After switching off the light, Chen Gu hugged the white cat in bed and took out the black phone to look out of habit. It was already midnight, and the daily quests had been refreshed. As he scrolled through the black phone, Chen Gu suddenly sat up in bed. The three new quests were. Recruitment, normal difficulty as the scenarios expand, you need more employees. Please recruit three new employees before dusk tomorrow. Safety precautions, medium difficulty please install at least 20 surveillance cameras inside the new scenario, the school of the afterlife. Neighbor, nightmare difficulty you wouldn't have expected this since you rarely return home. The day before your parents disappeared, something terrible happened at your home. I know you are curious about what happened. Perhaps you can ask your neighbor about it. Chen Ji's eyes focused on the nightmare daily mission. He had not seen one in a long time. The normal daily mission exhausted time and effort while providing average rewards, but nightmare missions were different. This type of mission was very dangerous, but it was a mission that would reward Chen Gu with a supernatural power. In the previous nightmare missions, Chen Gu had obtained the mortician skill, Yin Yang Vision, Living Doll, and Ghost Ear. Every single one of these abilities had helped him greatly. Other than that, Chen Gu realized something about the nightmare missions, all of them were related to his parents, and they all seemed to contain hints to his parents' disappearance. If I do not accept it, the daily mission will refresh at midnight tomorrow. Chen Gu looked at the time, it was 044. Such perfect timing. After giving it some thought, Chen Gu pointed at the nightmare mission. Lucky specters favored, are you going to accept the nightmare difficulty daily mission? The mission is extremely dangerous. Yes. After confirming it, the details of the mission appeared on the black phone. Neighbor, nightmare mission please search for an apartment with more than 15 floors in eastern Zhejiang. Said building should also satisfy these two conditions, possess a basement and lack the 14th floor. After finding the location, please enter the staircase at 2 a.m. 
The moment you step onto the stairs, you must close both eyes. Successfully climb from the first floor to the top floor, and when the mission is completed and your eyes are opened, you will see the thing you wish to see. Warning, nightmare missions have to be completed alone. Accompaniment of any specters, spirits, or items related to the haunted house are forbidden. Hint, before you reach the top floor, no matter what you hear, smell, or touch, do not open your eyes. That is the only way for you to survive. Chen Gu memorized the details. He repeated it many times, but he did not get it. Why would such a mission be called neighbor? Does it mean that when I close my eyes and climb from the ground floor to the top floor, I will run into neighbors? It sounded easy, but it would be hard to put into action. Under those circumstances, a normal person would habitually open their eyes if there was any commotion around them. The nightmare missions that I have accepted before did not have a specific location. Only this mission needs me to go to Eastern Jiujiang, but that place is where my parents strictly forbade me from going before. The mission had been accepted, it was too late to regret it. Chen Gu took out his phone to look for the building that might match the conditions. He typed in the keywords, and the search result soon arrived. Jiang Yuan Apartments? Looking at the name of the residential area, Chen Ji's brows were screwed together. He was familiar with this place. When he was small, when his parents first arrived in Zhejiang, they had rented a home there. Only after he started primary school did they move from eastern Zhejiang to western Zhejiang. In other words, until he was six, he lived in Jiang Yuan Apartments in eastern Zhejiang. Honestly, he could not recall the reason for their move. Chen Gu tried to remember it, but all he could recollect was a hazy rain. All the other memories that Chen Gu had of Jiang Yuan Apartments came from newspapers and the television. Many horrible things had happened in that area after they moved away. What kind of incident, he had already forgotten. He could only remember that whenever he tried to bring up Jiang Yuan apartments, his parents would try their best to change the subject. Twenty years had passed since then. The original Jiang Yuan apartments had been leveled. The new Jiang Yuan apartments no longer had the old small apartments but two 17-floor service apartments. The two buildings faced each other, but strangely enough, only one of them had been occupied. The other building had not finished work due to various reasons. The current Jiang Yuan Apartments was far more famous than its previous itineration, but it was all due to negative news. According to the internet, there had been many tenants who committed suicide there. Ever since the apartments were built, the number of tenants had only decreased. When one passed it at night, only a few lights were on. The building has 17 floors and a basement. To avoid any taboos, the developer skipped over the 14th floor, so the next floor after 13 is the 15th floor. Chen Gu looked at the information that he had found. This building fits the black phone's requirements perfectly. I suspect it purposely directed me to this place. The place that I used to stay at has been demolished, and now that I have grown up, I have to return there to find my old neighbor through this kind of method. Chen Gu had a feeling the neighbor that he was looking for would not be alive anymore. My House of Horrors Chapter 943, You Are My Eyes This mission is related to my parents' disappearance, so there is no reason to give it up. According to the mission details, as long as I don't open my eyes, everything will be fine. Chen Gu put the black phone away. I can only go alone. I can't bring any specters, spirits, or anything related to the haunted house. Will the ghost fetus discover that I have broken the rules? But since that was the black phone's request, Chen Gu had to follow it. He put on his jacket and found a secure rope in the drawer. He tied one end to himself and the other end to the white cat. Other people tie a rope to their pet because they are afraid that they might lose the pet, I'm tying the rope to the cat because I'm afraid I will go to the wrong place and the cat might fail to find me. White Tiger, I've been so nice to you. This is finally your time to shine. The white cat, which had been snuggling in comfort on the bed, looked at Chen Gu in alarm. Its ears were standing up, and its eyes moved between Chen Gu and the rope. Come, let's go visit somewhere interesting. Chen Gu was about to grab the white cat, but the cat sank its claws into the bed and refused to let go. Aren't you cats nocturnal animals? What are you doing lazying all night in bed? 
If you don't take this chance to exercise, you'll get so overweight that you won't be able to move. Don't worry. I promise I won't abandon you no matter what. See this rope? This will be the bond that keeps us together. Sir, I'm going to the lightning equipment factory opposite from Jiang Yuan Apartments in eastern Jiuqiang. Chen Gu sat in the back of the taxi while hugging the white cat. With his previous experience, he knew not to give the name of the dangerous location directly just in case the driver refused to drive him there. The place is quite secluded. Plus, why are you going to a factory at night? The driver studied Chen Gu through the rearview mirror. It was not that he was being too suspicious, but a customer like Chen Gu was too unique. It was 1 a.m., and he wanted to go to Eastern Jiujiang while carrying a cat. My family owns that factory. Something happened, and I have to go check. Hasn't the factory closed down? The suspicion increased. Yes, that's why I'm going there. Do you think no one needs to care about it since it's closed down? There was annoyance in Chen Ji's tone like he was not in a good mood. I hope you don't mind me being a busybody, but it's not that safe in eastern Zhejiang. Something just happened at the place that you wished to go several days ago. What happened? The residential area across from the factory, I believe it was a drunken husband who accidentally fell from the roof. The scary thing is that it was my colleague who drove him home that night. In any case, the place is just strange. The driver started the car. I don't believe in all that. Chen Gu chuckled evenly. My parents always tell me that with money, even ghosts will do your bidding. If you're afraid of ghosts, it only means you're not rich enough. The driver was speechless. He stopped trying to persuade Chen Gu, and Chen Gu used this downtime to do more investigation. Half an hour later, the taxi dropped Chen Gu off in eastern Jiujiang. After paying the fare, Chen Gu hugged the white cat and headed straight for Jiang Yuan Apartments. That definitely gave the driver quite a shock. The mission requires me to be here before 2 a.m. Chen Gu crossed the road and reached the gates to the residential area. Two apartments stood before him. The surroundings were dark, and it looked isolated. Since moving away, this was Chen Ji's first time returning there. The place had changed so much from his memory. Such a big residential area can't afford a guard. The gate was half open, and the guardhouse next to it was sealed and locked. Walking in further, the path was littered with various pamphlets. Only two streetlights were on, and one was flickering non-stop. Chen Gu tilted his head up. There was no light coming from one of the apartment building, it looked deserted. The other building had several lights on the ground floor, and there were clothes hanging on the clotheslines outside the building. There's someone staying here, so there shouldn't be a problem but why are all the lights gathered at the ground floor? Both of the buildings at Jiang Yuan Apartments fitted the requirement. For safety's sake, Chen Gu chose the one with people. He hugged the white cat and approached the building. Various notices were stuck to the outside walls. There were some from the owners urging for payment of rent, there were tenants complaining about the condition of the apartment, and there were missing person reports and many other paraphernalia. The management is a mess. Has the developer run off with the money? Chen Gu entered the lobby. The stairs were on the left-hand side, and on the right was the elevator. He pressed the button for the elevator, and he could not find the 14th floor on the control panel. After confirming that, Chen Gu entered the stairwell. He looked at the steps before him. Each floor has 26 steps, and every 13 steps, there is a landing for a turn. The height of each step is about. He repeated the movement several times for his legs to get used to the climbing. The mission needs the building to have a basement and no 14th floor. I have to consider these two elements. Chen Gu leaned on the banister and looked down. There is a basement floor, but it should be deserted. All the doors are locked. I wonder what it's for. Then he looked up the stairs. The layer overlapped upon layers, like a staircase going up to heaven. Only the ground floor and fourth floor have lights. They are not sound activated because they are still on even though it is now deadly quiet. Chen Gu closed his eyes before opening them again. Even with my eyes closed, I can sense the change in the light. Climbing all the way up with one's eyes closed was difficult, 
it not only required bravery but also great determination. The nightmare missions are getting more and more difficult. Is it because I'm getting closer to the truth? Since he could not take any ghosts with him, Chen Gu could only make preparation from other perspective. He looked at the time and took out a black cloth from his pocket. The mission requests for me to close my eyes but it didn't say I can't blindfold myself. This should lower the difficulty slightly. The black cloth would lower his eyes sensitivity to light, but even if he was blindfolded, Chen Gu would not sneakily open his eyes during the process because the scary things might crawl through the blindfold. Scratching the white cat's head, Chen Gu placed it on his shoulder. In a bit, you'll be my eyes. Do not run away from me. If anything particularly scary appears, do not remind me unless the thing is hostile and wants to kill us. Then you can claw or bite me, understood? With little time left, Chen Gu did not care whether the white cat understood his order or not. He left it on his shoulder and took out his phone. There were still 10 seconds to 2 am. He closed his eyes and then tied the black cloth around his eyes. Time to begin. After closing his eyes, the darkness surrounded him. Chen Gu placed his hands on the wall and took his first step. My House of Horrors Chapter 944, Touch After closing his eyes, there was nothing but darkness. The darkness did not represent despair and loneliness, rather, it appeared to be a giant bubble that could envelop all of one's imagination. The line between memory and reality blurred. As he moved step by step up the stairs, the hard shell of reality was slowly being pulled back. Chen Gu understood why all the nightmare missions required him to close his eyes to complete them. He was walking into another world, he was going to see the lingering spirits hiding in the background of the real world. Counting the number of steps in his heart, Chen Gu soon reached the second floor. His fingertips could sense the dust on the wall, and his nose could sniff out the faded smell of mold. The sound of his footsteps echoed in his ears. At that moment, the important sense of sight had been removed, and the world became so different. White Tiger hasn't reacted strangely so it means that I am in no danger for now. Both ground floor and fourth floor have light, so the real trouble should begin after the fourth floor. Being blindfolded was not that difficult for Chen Gu. He could picture everything in his brain, and his body had gotten used to the height of the steps. All he needed to do was focus and not let himself be influenced by other things. I should be on the second floor now. Moving his feet, Chen Gu was moving up to the third floor when he suddenly heard the sound of an agitated argument coming from one of the families on the second floor. All you do is drink. Does your family even care about me and the children? Since the pregnancy, I've never heard a word of concern from any of you. I've paid for every single one of my checkups, and I've suffered more than enough under your mother's attitude. If you feel so badly treated here, leave. If not for the fact that you forgot to lock the front door, Dabao wouldn't have gone out and gotten lost. So it's my fault now. You insisted on leaving at midnight. I am still pregnant with Air Bao. Has your heart been eaten by the dogs? Don't you dare turn this on me. Let me repeat myself, I was going to work that day. The soundproofing of the building was actually not that bad, but the argument was so heated that some physical altercation was involved. About 10 seconds later, Chen Gu heard the door open. Someone walked out, and from the sound of footsteps, the person was wearing leather shoes, so it should be the husband. The argument was still in full swing. The man cursed as he slammed the door shut. Footsteps echoed down the corridor, and a heavy cloud of alcohol surrounded Chen Gu. Once the man entered the stairwell, he stopped yelling like he was surprised by Chen Gu, who stood in the stairwell. The footsteps halted before they started to head down and disappear. How much has the man drunk? Silence returned, but the alcohol smell did not dissipate. Chen Gu continued to move up. He counted the steps silently, and when he got to the third floor, he noticed that something was off. How come the smell of alcohol is lingering? Since the man has already left, the smell of alcohol shouldn't be around anymore, unless he is following behind me. An image appeared in Chen Ji's mind. He was walking ahead blindfolded while a drunkard with a befuddled mind and malicious face was following behind him. When a person is under great pressure, they will bully the weaker party to vent their frustration. 
Chen Gu did not turn around. If the man was just a drunkard, it would not be so troublesome, but Chen Gu was afraid that it was something else. When I was on the way here, the driver said that someone lost their life here not too long ago. The victim was drunk when he died, so the thing following behind me now is probably not a human. His nose could smell the alcohol, but his ears could not hear any sound. I've gone up to the third floor, and I've already run into trouble. I still have more than ten floors to go. Fear could be overcome. What could not be overcome was the unknown. Chen Gu was in this conflicting emotion. This nightmare mission was more difficult than he had expected. He was only on the third floor, it should be no problem if he gave up the mission now and ran away. However, if he continued up, the risk of giving up the mission would become greater and greater. The chance of getting new nightmare mission is very low. If I give up now, who knows when I will next get one. After stopping for a while on the third floor, Chen Gu started moving to the fourth floor. After getting closer to the light, even with his eyes closed, Chen Gu could feel the change in the brightness. He was sure that he was on the fourth floor. I've gone through one quarter of the mission, and so far, there have been no problems. Holding the wall, Chen Gu carefully moved toward the fifth floor. When he lifted his feet, his shoes knocked into something. The sound as it toppled over was crisp. It sounded like a china bowl. He bent over slowly and searched on the ground. His fingertips touched an apple, cooked rice, and two wooden chopsticks. The chopsticks were stuck inside the rice, and one end of it was sticky. Someone laid out this ritualistic food on the stairwell? Has something happened on this floor as well? Only the ground floor and fourth floor had lights on, so one's mind could not help but wonder. After replacing the bowl and chopsticks, Chen Gu bowed at the location of the temporary shrine. Please forgive me. If you need compensation, you can follow me home when I leave. Feel free to take anything that you like. Then, Chen Gu left the fourth floor and went up to the fifth floor. The last shred of light disappeared, and Chen Gu felt the light coming from behind him as he slowly moved up. The fifth floor and sixth floor went by. When he reached the seventh floor, the smell of alcohol disappeared. He left. If it was the man who died days ago, this sudden departure can only mean that there is something scarier on the seventh floor and above, and he doesn't dare follow me further. The other possibility is that there is something scary standing before him, and this new thing has scared the man away. Knowing that something was before him but being unable to see it placed Chen Gu in a helpless situation. Since the white cat gave no warning, it should be fine. Chen Gu slightly bent over to lower his center of gravity to prevent himself from tripping. Slowing down, Chen Gu nudged slowly upward. When he raised his arms to the walls again, he was stumped. The sensation that came from his fingertips was not the coldness of the wall, but it had a buoyancy to it like human skin. He stood there for about several seconds before Chen Gu slowly moved his fingers, and through the sense of touch, he confirmed that he was touching a human face. His Adam's apple quivered as his body petrified. If this was any other person, they would be screaming, but Chen Gu did not do that, he tried to maintain his calm. His fingers pinched slightly, and through that, Chen Gu understood two things. One, this was a child's face, two, the face had no warmth like it had been taken out from the fridge, so it was not a living human. The face has a sharp nose. I think I have an impression of this face. Chen Gu remembered that when he entered the lobby, there was a missing person notice on the wall. The kid in the notice had such a face. My House of Horrors. Chapter 945, Who's Pulling on Me? With the mortician and doll maker talents and the experience of making hundreds of mannequins, he had faith in his prediction. This face is 80% similar to the face of the child in the notices, but the question is, why is his face here on the wall? Has the child been killed and the body is somehow related to the wall? Pulling his arms back, Chen Gu stood where he was. The surroundings were quiet, there was no sound and no special smell. The husband and wife argued that they had lost a son. The child's name was Dabao, so the missing person notice might be theirs. They've lost their child, but I felt the child's face when going up the stairs. Did the child return to this building after turning into a ghost? Or was he killed inside this building? Could the killer be one of the tenants? 
The more Chen Gu considered it, the more likely it became. The husband left at midnight, and the wife who was pregnant with the second child chased after him without locking the door. Under normal circumstances, the child who was left alone at home would not sneak out alone unless he saw something or someone familiar calling him. Could the killer be the neighbor? The word neighbor was a common term, but it carried a different meaning for Chen Gu now because the nightmare mission that he was conducting now was named neighbor. Taking another step forward, Chen Gu still felt it safer to move by the wall, but when his palm was about to touch the wall, he halted. His experience earlier left a trauma in his heart. He was afraid that he might touch something unsightly again. His fingers dropped on the wall, and after touching the cold, hard wall, Chen Gu sighed in relief. If not necessary, he did not want to touch any more people. I'm only here to complete my mission. There is no need to unravel the mystery that happened here. I only need to keep my eyes closed and head to the top floor. Everything else has nothing to do with me. Chen Gu convinced himself as he continued to move forward. When he moved his body, he felt something pull on his shirt. Is it the child? He froze on the steps. His eyes were blindfolded, so he could not see anything, he could only wait for the other person to let go. After five seconds, Chen Gu took another step forward, and he could clearly feel a force pulling from behind him. The person did not plan to let him go, and Chen Gu was not going to force his way through this. He took one step back and felt that the force had weakened greatly. It appears like something doesn't want him to leave. A scary thought appeared in his mind. Chen Gu slowly squatted down and whispered behind him, De Bao. The pulling force disappeared for a moment, but it soon returned. Is it really you? Chen Gu tried to speak as slow as he could. Your parents are looking for you. You'd better go home. Perhaps the sentence triggered the boy because the force started to pull heavily like the boy was trying to drag Chen Gu into the wall. Wait, if you don't like your parents and don't want to go home, I can stay to accompany you. Chen Gu instantly changed tact. Actually, my childhood was not that memorable either. My parents always argued due to some small issues. Seeing them in that state, I only wanted to curl up in a corner. Other families were so happy and joyful, but my family was always so lonely and cold. Even if the three of us occasionally got together, it always ended up in an argument. What Chen Gu said seemed to work, he could feel the force weakening. Arguing, throwing things around the room, they would sometimes vent their anger on me. The constant arguing made me live my life very carefully, I didn't dare cry too loudly. Chen Gu sighed with regret. Even though I am much older now, I'll never forget that experience. The wounds haven't been healed by time, but as time moved on, I have slowly learned to coexist with the pain. Chen Gu squatted on the stairs and turned around to face the darkness, mumbling, isn't it sad? I am just a child. I cannot get an adult's love, but I have to force myself to be a responsible adult. The force slowly weakened, the words seemed to find resonance in the child. I've experienced that loneliness before, so I became very sensitive and cautious to everything. I know how bad that feels, but if you don't mind, I can be your friend. I do not wish for you to experience the things that I've had to go through. The force completely disappeared. Chen Gu maintained his posture. The adult's response was a mirror for a child. A good response could help the child see the good in themselves, but a bad response would be like a concave mirror, leaving a contorted impression on the child's growing mind. Even though Chen Gu was childless, he had interacted with children many times, and he knew how to form a bond with them. Da Bao came from a sad family background. If it was within his power, Chen Gu was willing to help the child. There was no more sound, and there was no pull on his shirt. The child seemed to have left. Chen Gu could not see anything. His hands pressed against the wall, and he did not feel anything weird. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just going to the roof. After I'm done, I'll be back. After saying that to the darkness, Chen Gu slowly stood up. He was about to continue climbing the stairs when his hand near the banister felt a chill like someone had stuffed a piece of ice into his palm. His fingers trembled. Chen Gu was sure that someone had grabbed his hand. Goosebumps appeared on his neck, 
and Chen Gu stopped for two seconds before gripping the small hand tighter. We can go together. You have to promise me one thing. If there's danger, you have to run and ignore me, okay? With that hand holding him, Chen Gu continued to move up. He successfully moved from the 7th floor to the 11th floor without any accidents. But when he reached the 11th floor, the elevator down the corridor rang with a ding as the doors opened. Someone had used the elevator to come to the 11th floor at midnight. It was unclear whether it was a person or a ghost. To prevent any unnecessary misunderstandings, Chen Gu stopped moving. Footsteps appeared in the 11th floor corridor. Then came the sound of keys brushing against one another, followed by the key entering the lock. The spring loosened, and the door opened. Just as Chen Gu thought that the person was entering the room, a giant force came from the corridor. Someone was pulling him by his left arm like they were trying to drag Chen Gu into the door that had just opened. His body lost its balance. Chen Gu would have fallen if not for the force that pulled on his right hand trying its darndest to stop Chen Gu from being dragged away. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to my house of horrors. Chapter 946, So Cold Even though Chen Gu had no idea what was in the corridor, he knew that he could not allow himself to be dragged into the room. His arms were pulled, and his eyes were blindfolded. Chen Gu could only kick at what believed to be the direction of the corridor. His feet made contact with something, and the pain jolted Chen Gu awake. White Tiger Bite it. All that Chen Gu could trust now was the white cat, but the strange thing was, the cat that laid on his shoulders did not move at all. He could feel the cat's weight on his shoulder not shifting. His body was dragged on both sides, and this held on for almost half a minute when Chen Gu heard a man say, Don't you want to live? I am trying to save you. There is a ghost in the stairwell. Following the voice, the pull on Chen Ji's arm increased. Now Chen Gu was given a choice, to follow the man's voice into the corridor or continue up the stairs. In less than a second, he made the choice and shouted, it was human beings who pushed them to their death, so why should I be afraid of ghosts? If you really want to save me, let go. At that crucial moment, Chen Gu chose to stay in the stairwell. He was willing to stay with the ghost whose identity he had confirmed over leaving with a random, human, stranger. The pull on his arm dwindled until the door clicked. The man who wanted to drag Chen Gu into the room appeared to have left. Is he that desperate to find a scapegoat? The last one who had that intention is still trapped inside a painting. Chen Gu slowly stood up. The sound of the door closing was very, close so it means the man's room is very close to the stairwell. I'll be sure to return tomorrow with my employees to pay a visit. He waved his arms about. He touched the banister and wall to confirm his location. Thank you for your help earlier, Chen Gu said to the space next to him. No one was pulling on his hand anymore, so he was not sure whether the boy was still there or not. Da bow? There was no reply. Chen Gu waited for a while before moving up again. The situation is worse than I thought. I thought this place would have at most three specters and some lingering spirits, but it looks like I was being overly optimistic. Lingering spirits would have a hard time interacting physically with human beings, so both the man who grabbed Chen Ji's arm and the boy were specters. He had only gone up to the 11th floor, and he had already run into two specters, this would only get worse. When Chen Gu came to the space between 11th and 12th floors, he felt something under his feet. It felt wet. Puddles? There is no light in the upper part of the building, so why would there be a puddle on the stairs? Could it be a broken pipe? Chen Gu could confirm that he was not stepping on blood because blood dried very quickly. The blood used at his own haunted house was all diluted with thinner. This should be water. When that thought crossed his mind, he felt chill on his cheeks, like water was dripping on his face. Before he reached out to touch his face, the chill moved to his ankles like a snake had just slithered up his leg. What is going on? The air turned damp, and moisture stuck to his skin. When Chen Gu was contemplating this change, a woman's voice suddenly came from above. So cold, the voice was light and shaking. There's something before me? Chen Gu slowed down, and his brain spun. The air around him filled with vapor. 
Did the person feel cold because her death was related to water, or was her body stored inside a freezer? Chen Gu thought about a lot in a few minutes. He continued to move forward. Just as he was about to pass the source of the voice, he felt both of his legs freeze. The chill spread along his spine like something was crawling up his back. So cold, so cold, the shivering voice now echoed behind Chen Gu, like she was following him, just one step behind him. Standing with his eyes closed in the staircase, he could not see anything, but he could sense someone standing behind him. With each step, the person behind him also took one step forward. The chilling feeling did not dissipate and only grew stronger. Chen Gu did not act rashly, he slowly raised his hand to undo the button of his jacket. He undid the buttons one by one and removed his jacket before turning to cover the person behind him. Put this on, stranger. I can't help you change what's already happened, but I hope this jacket can bring you some warmth. The jacket landed on something. Perhaps Chen Ji's action was so sudden that the thing could not react. Other than this stupid cat, I have nothing. I see death very lightly, but that doesn't influence my love for life. Chen Gu held the wall and slowly squatted down until he sat on the steps. This night is long and boring, would you like to chat? With his eyes blindfolded, Chen Gu could not see anything. Without any employees or tools, he could not do anything. However, he did not feel helpless. He leaned against the wall. In the damp, eerie stairwell, his smile appeared so bright and unusual. If you don't mind, please sit next to me. Chen Gu tapped the spot next to him lightly. I know how loneliness feels, and I envy those who can joke with their friends and have endless topics to chat about. Seeing their joy, I will always find a secluded corner to be by myself. That is how I like it. Eventually, people got used to it. To be honest, you're the first one who I have chatted so closely with for so long. His lips moved, and Chen Gu turned to look next to him. Can you stay for a chat? Some shuffling entered his ears, and Chen Ji's finger brushed against his own jacket. The stranger, who had been following him sat down next to him on the step. Thank you for accompanying me. I am not a people person, but do you mind telling me your story? His tone was sincere with an undercurrent of pleading. My body is pressed together. It's very cold. I cannot even hug myself. Where are you? Can I go find you? How can I help you? Chen Gu sincerely wished to help. There was at least another murder case hidden in this building. My head is placed behind my back, my arms are folded together, and my legs are on the second floor. He used to hate me. It was not until he raised the cleaver that he smiled. He said that he finally found the upside to an anorexic girl. That was a rare compliment. He said, since I am so small and thin, I will be easy to hide. My House of Horrors Chapter 947, Voices from 20 Years Ago That day, he told me many things that he normally wouldn't. Is this man you mentioned still living here? Chen Gu could hear the quiver in the voice. He has already moved away and hasn't returned for a long time. Then, would you like to meet him? Chen Gu pulled on the jacket. I believe you have many things you wish to say to him. After all, he's the one who put you in this situation where you can't even feel warmth. I. It's okay. I will help. Trust me. Chen Gu held the wall and slowly stood up. If he hasn't left Jiujiang, within one week, I will bring him back. After you reunite with him, I will bring you to someplace warmer. The woman did not answer, but Chen Gu was in no hurry. Now I have one more reason to be alive. Keep the jacket. I will be back. Chen Gu was about to move up when the woman said, Don't go up anymore. You won't be able to return. Won't be able to return. Why? Because above the 13th floor is the 14th floor. A jacket was stuffed into Chen Ji's hand, and the chilling feeling slowly disappeared. What is she trying to tell me? Chen Gu gripped the jacket tightly. Jiang Yuan Apartments doesn't have the 14th floor. It should be the 15th floor after 13th floor, but she said that 14th floor follows the 13th floor. So, does the 14th floor really exist? 
Chen Gu would not surrender at this point, he knew that he was very close to the truth. Counting the steps, Chen Gu came to the 13th floor. This level was quiet, like a normal apartment building with nothing extraordinary. He moved up to the 14th floor. When he was halfway up the steps, his nostrils twitched because he smelt the scent of food. It was unknown what dish it was, but his brain was able to tell this was a lavish dinner, impressed upon his memory. This wafted down from the 14th floor. Is someone cooking? Moving up step by step, perhaps due to physical or mental exhaustion, Chen Gu felt like there were so many steps between the 13th and 14th floor. The number of steps was similar to other floors, but for some reason, it took him much longer. Under his fingertips, the smooth surface of the wall started to crack. There appeared to be changes in the corridor. Everything gave Chen Gu a familiar yet strange feeling. He mechanically lifted his leg, and with the smell of dinner on his nose, he finally reached the 14th floor. When he found footing, the doorknob in the corridor turned noisily. An iron door was opened, and then a male voice came from the deeper part of the corridor. Chen Gu, welcome home. When he heard that voice, Chen Ji's voice blanked out. He whipped his body around to face the corridor. He had heard that man's voice for about 20 years. This sentence, he had heard it so many times when he was young. He had memorized his voice inside his heart and carved it onto his bones. Dinner is ready. When you were coming up the stairs, your mom heard you. His nails cut into his palm, and Chen Gu slowly raised his arms to grab at that black cloth. He just wanted to take a look. He had never been so desperate to see something. The hands on the cloth tightened until the veins burst on the back of his hands. How was your first day at school? We're sorry we couldn't pick you up. You weren't bullied, right? Have you made some new friends? You're so much like me, so you should be so popular in class. Go and wash your hands. Don't run around. The words drifted out from the corridor until the doorknob turned, and the door closed. The man's voice disappeared, and other people's voices appeared in the corridor. There was a male and a female, young and old. What is wrong with that new family who just moved in? They leave after their child goes to sleep every midnight. No wonder the child suffers from nightmares. Haven't you heard? During the day, the house is filled with laughter, but at night, it's just crying. Won't the child be afraid to be left at home alone at night? This is strange. I saw all three of them leave in the morning. Why would there be crying at night? Brothers. I found something. It's not the adults that are problematic with the new family, it's the child. I saw the doctor from some XIN high hospital who came to treat the child. You mustn't let your children play with him. How come, after the doctor's visit, the child has been even sicker? Do you know? The child tells his parents about his nightmares, and when his parents are not at home at night, he repeats the nightmare to his own shadow. How scary is that? Something's not right, if he doesn't sleep in the day or night, when does he have the time to experience nightmares? Is the child really talking about his dream? Don't scare me like that. Never mind, they are moving away in a few days anyway. They're moving? Yes, I hear they're going to Western Jiujiang, the parents are going to work for a theme park. The voices slowly drifted into the background. Chen Gu stood where he was with his hands still on the black cloth. After a while, Chen Gu took a deep breath. I only remember the good things. I've blocked out most of the things the neighbor said about me. But there are a few key points I should consider. When I was small, I interacted with a doctor from XIN High Hospital. It was after his treatment that I started talking with my own shadow. It should be then that my shadow turned strange. The key to everything is that doctor. The doctor came from XIN High, and the cursed hospital is between XIN High and Jiujiang. Could this be a coincidence? Standing on the 14th floor, Chen Gu slowly turned around to face away from the corridors with many voices. His hands that grabbed the black cloth tightened, and then he removed the slightly wet cloth. But his eyes were still closed. I really wish to open my eyes and see you, but I know that is impossible. Chen Gu did not turn back. 
With his hand on the wall, he continued to move up. You once gave up everything for me, so now I will use everything I have to find you. In the dark corridor, Chen Gu looked different from usual. 15th, 16th, 17th. Counting the number of steps in his heart, Chen Gu knew that he was now on the 17th floor. Theoretically, this was the top floor of this building, but he did not hurry to open his eyes. The 14th doesn't exist, but the girl with the cold told me above the 13th floor is the 14th floor. This building originally had 17 floors, but if one includes the additional 14th floor, there should be 18 floors like 18 layers of hell. Chen Gu nudged his feet. Soon, his toe found the steps that led upward. So, there is an 18th floor. My House of Horrors. Chapter 948, The Man Who Killed Me. His raised leg lowered. It was a simple action, but that was quite taxing for Chen Gu. He felt lightheaded, like many things were pressed on his body, and there was this force that was trying to pull him back. Chen Gu did not know what was hiding in the dark, and he had no idea whether there were any ghosts around him. But sometimes, not seeing was better because that would not affect his emotions. It took him several minutes to move from the 17th floor to the 18th floor. When Chen Gu successfully reached the 18th floor, he almost tripped. I feel so cold and dizzy. Chen Gu was very tired, and it was a mental exhaustion like he had been working at a stressful job for more than 10 hours. I should be on the top floor already. Chen Ji's fingers held the wall. He had not opened his eyes. For the sake of security, he bent over and used his hands to seek out the wall and floor, leaving no stone unturned. After experiencing so much, he would not fail at the final hurdle. When Chen Gu was searching around, there came a sudden door opening sound from downstairs, and it rang out quite clearly in the quiet stairwell. The iron door was slowly opened, and two footsteps appeared in the stairwell. Is someone coming up? Chen Gu instantly became nervous. The sound of the door probably came from the 14th or 15th floors. Could it be the neighbors? The footsteps sounded urgent as they approached the stairwell. It was as if they were forcing Chen Gu to open his eyes to end the mission. The sound has reached the 16th floor. Chen Ji's forehead was breaking out in cold sweat. He leaned against the wall and was panicking slightly. Should I open my eyes? Theoretically, I've reached the top floor, and I can't find any stairs to take me further up. While he hesitated, the footsteps already reached the 17th floor. Chen Gu stood at the corner, facing the stairwell, and his eyes were closed. The footsteps were coming quickly. They appeared at the landing between 17th and 18th floor, so they should have seen Chen Gu already. I've been discovered, but the footsteps didn't stop, so I'm probably not that their target. A familiar laughter appeared in his ears, and soon, those footsteps walked past Chen Gu, and one of the doors on 18th floor was opened. Wind caressed Chen Ji's face, and the tiredness that he felt slowly disappeared, like the things that had been hanging on to him had left. Is it over? He wanted to open his eyes, but the sound of footsteps and children laughing were still there. The laughter gave him an indescribable feeling. He could not sense any joy from the laughter. It was very hollow. He sought his way to the open door blindly. Chen Gu stood at the door, and a child's voice came from the other side of the door. Uncle, I just had a dream. In the dream, there is a red city floating in a black sea. Everyone in the city is walking around with blades to cut their own bodies and bury their memories. Uncle, human beings exist due to their memories, but if human beings have forgotten them, will the memories get angry? Uncle, are you listening to me? The child's voice was near Chen Gu. Chen Gu even felt that the child was talking to him. He was about to speak when an unfamiliar male voice answered. I am. The man's voice did not carry any emotion. It was detached and cold like a machine. The memories will not be angry. When they appear, they are destined to be forgotten. That is their ending. Destined to be forgotten? Yes, just like you. After the man saying that, the child laughed again. Why do you like to laugh so much? There was annoyance in the man's voice. Because I'm happy. My father told me everything I saw is a nightmare, 
and those scary things are all in my dreams. They will disappear when I wake up. Shouldn't I be happy about that? The child's voice had an innocence to it. A nightmare? The man's tone turned icier. One day, if you realize that it's not a nightmare and is all real, will you still laugh like this? I don't know, perhaps. If you one day realize that you have been abandoned in that red city and have no way of return, will you still laugh? I. You will never laugh again. You will curse the world madly, like the memories that have been abandoned by their owner, enveloped by negative emotion, sinking deeper and deeper into that dark ocean. There was an excitement in the man's voice. Beneath his detached tone hid a twisted soul. No, I won't. The child's innocent voice belied a maturity beyond his years. He took a long time to consider before saying, if I am really forgotten in my nightmare one day, I will paint a window on that black sea and open all the doors in the red city so that all the eyes that have gotten used to the darkness will get the chance to see the light. When the child ended the sentence, Chen Gu was struck by a sense of deja vu, like he had personally said that before. His eyelids twitched. Chen Gu took one involuntarily step forward. He instinctively wanted to reach out to grab that voice. With light comes darkness. If you wish for darkness to see the light, the light will turn into darkness. The man appeared to have grabbed hold of the child. Let me go. You're the one who should let go. Do not come back again. Let go. Help. Help. You will ultimately be forgotten, so don't worry and die. When the man said that, Chen Ji's body froze. A voice was calling from the bottom of his heart. Help. His eyes flew open, and Chen Gu saw at the edge of the roof, a doctor in white coat was pushing his young self off the edge of the building. He rushed to the edge, but when he reached out, everything disappeared. His energy deserted him, and Chen Gu crumbled to the ground. His clothes were soaked in cold sweat. When I did the nightmare mission at the tunnel, I also saw my young self being killed. This is the second time already. The killer has the same appearance from the back, so they should be the same person. He wore a doctor's garb, so he should be the doctor from XIN High. But why would he kill me? What is the meaning of their conversation? A headache was killing him. After closing his eyes for so long, Chen Gu was still getting used to the light. He was curled up at the wall, and he rubbed his eyes. When his vision returned to normal, he turned and tried to grab the white cat. But his head was only half turned when his body froze. Two dried hands touched his face, and a blood-red shirt almost brushed past the tip of Chen Ji's nose. A red specter was holding onto Chen Ji's shoulder, hanging by his back. It was you who left the half-open door at Jiang Yuan Apartments, wasn't it? A child's voice appeared from behind Chen Gu. I can't remember. Only then did Chen Gu see the white cat almost crying on his shoulder. The cat did not dare budge, those who did not know would think it was a science specimen. The white cat had always been there, but it did not warn him. That could only mean that the red specter had shown up when he first closed his eyes. The white cat was lying on his left shoulder, so the red specter was hanging on his right shoulder? My House of Horrors Chapter 949 when you're feeling down, visit someone else's theme park. His scalp was going numb, and his brain was fuzzy. Chen Gu did not dare to turn around, he was afraid of saying something wrong and getting killed immediately. I am not sure what you're talking about. Twenty years ago, there was a door that was about to open in Jiang Yuan Apartments, but no one knew about its location. The only known info is that it is within this area. The area has been rebuilt, but the door still hasn't closed. Negative emotions kept coming out from behind the door and attracting the ghosts and specters that pass by. The poor people that you met are gathered here because of that door, and it was because of that door that I was lucky enough to become a red specter. Now that you put it that way, perhaps that door is really related to me, Chen Gu answered carefully. But I have forgotten many things, so I cannot be sure of it. If you can give me more hints, Perhaps I can be reminded of something. It was a door that was half open, this is the first time I've seen a door like that. It was like when someone was about to push the door open, salvation suddenly came for him. The dried hands tightened their grip, and the red specter's voice appeared in Chen Ji's ears. 
Only when one is in deepest despair can a door be pushed open. That kind of despair shall never be saved. Chen Gu memorized the Red Spectre's every word. He might not understand everything now, but with some investigation, he might understand more of its meaning. I really can't remember anything now. Have you entered the door? What is inside the door? Chen Gu started to ask questions. It was mainly because he had seen too many red specters, and the fear in his heart was slowly replaced by a feeling like he was chatting with an old friend. You want to know what's inside the door? The dried hands pressed on Chen Ji's neck. Haven't you just seen it? Me? Seen it? Chen Gu widened his eyes. Fourteenth floor. The world behind the door is my home? Yes, that was your home, but now it is my home now. The malnourished fingers were like knives slowly piercing into Chen Ji's neck. I helped you push the door open, but I failed to become the door pusher. I've been thinking about it, and now I get it. Perhaps that's because the real door pusher is still alive. Only by killing him can I officially take over the door. Calm down. Let me think about this. Perhaps I have no relation to that door at all. Really? How could a person like me who is so bright and sunny be in such despair to push open a door? But when you showed up, the door opened on its own, and voices that I haven't heard before came out from behind it. The hands of the red specter had a tighter strangle. Fine, I cannot deny the relationship between me and the door, but it wasn't me who pushed the door open. If you want to look for the real door pusher, I can help you. Chen Gu pointed at the edge of the roof. You saw it yourself. The child who was pushed down the building should be the real door pusher. I am looking for him as well. Your lies will not fool me. The scenario behind the door is weaved from the memory of the door pusher. The voices that you heard on the 14th floor and the scene you saw on the roof were memories from the deepest part of your heart. Those are all your memories, that's why you saw yourself in them. The Red Spectre's statement accidentally reminded Chen Gu. A light shone through his mind. Memories? The things that he should have forgotten were retained in the door. Even though the scenario was despairing, it was his memory. I think I get it now. Chen Ji's eyes narrowed. The Red City contains many different scenarios, and each scenario is created by the door pusher. The scenarios are created from the door pusher's despairing memories. The younger version of myself said one thing on the roof earlier, human beings exist due to their memories, but if human beings have forgotten them, will the memories get angry? Human, ghost, memory, lingering spirit. Are those your final words? Wait. Hearing the red specter's voice, Chen Gu snapped into focus. You saw the scenario earlier, the memory wouldn't lie. The real door pusher has been pushed off the building by the doctor. He is already dead. The real reason you haven't taken over the door is because his lingering spirit is still around. Chen Ji's words made sense, but that was not enough to convince the Red Spectre. I know, it's pointless for me to say any more. I will not give you any fake promises, but I hope you can give me several days to go and find the real door pusher. The Red Spectre behind him did not speak, so Chen Gu quickly added, if you think several days is too long, how about we make it 24 hours? I really need to go home to confirm some things. If you are that worried, you can come with me. You can hide in my shadow to watch over me. My life will be in your hands. The pain around his neck lessened. The red specter was slowly persuaded even though he still had not said anything. The silence continued for several minutes. Then Chen Gu appeared to give up. He slowly raised his hands. Fine, looks like you're not going to let me go. Then, can I ask for one last little favor? Speak. Give me a few minutes to call the police. In the stairwell, I promise to help find the girl's killer. Since I can't do that, I at least have to leave her with some hope. I can't allow her to stay in that frozen condition. Chen Gu took out his phone. The red specter did not object to it. After some time, the dried hands moved away, three days. In three days, at 2 a.m., I will wait for you on the 14th floor. The pressure slowly disappeared. The iron door that headed to the roof was slammed shut, and everything returned to normal. 
Chen Gu was standing where he was, but the white cat on his shoulder could not suffer it anymore. Probably because it had held the same posture for so long, the white cat unnaturally jumped onto the ground. Its body appeared to be frozen. It was limping while it walked. Seeing the white cat starting to move around, Chen Gu sighed in relief. He slid down the wall. You're really useless. The specter was lying on my shoulder. Shouldn't you at least warn me about something that's serious? Meow. The white cat was angry when it saw Chen Gu. It circled around him and howled angrily as if saying, how about you try lying next to a red specter for once? The man and the cat argued for a while, and Chen Gu recovered somewhat. He put on the jacket and reached out to hug the white cat. Going back down was impossible, and he did not think taking the elevator was a good idea, so Chen Gu decided to wait for dawn to arrive. This was such a scary night. After the sun comes up, I'll have to go to the futuristic theme park for some necessary relaxation. My House of Horrors Chapter 950, Bonding Opportunities for the Red Specters Dawn started to arrive for the day, and the first ray of sunlight appeared on the horizon. It's finally morning. Hugging the cat, Chen Gu re-entered the stairwell. The stairwell was empty, and it felt scary. It's hard to imagine I was walking up here with my eyes blindfolded yesterday. With a few sighs, Chen Gu took the elevator and left Jiang Yuan Apartments. At the same time, he received the notification of the mission's completion on the black phone. Congratulations, Spectres favored, for completing the daily nightmare mission. You have gained a new talent, Spirit Sniff. Yin Yang Vision allows you to see the color of dreams, Ghost Ears allow you to hear the voices of memories, and Spirit Sniff allows you to smell the scent of emotions. Mortician's makeup allows you to disguise yourself or others as withering ghosts, and Living Dolls allows you to create the shell for homeless spirit. Currently, you are lacking one last ability. Be quick and unlock the last mission. Hopefully, you will know the answer before death catches up to you. After completing the nightmare mission, the Black Phone awarded Chen Gu with another power, and from the name, it was related to his sense of smell. Chen Gu touched his nose and did not sense any difference from before. Perhaps his ability to discern between different smells had gotten stronger. Different emotions will have different scents. Chen Gu sniffed at the white cat but was pushed away by the annoyed creature. He did not mind it, he put away the black phone and took out his own phone. Hello? Is it the Eastern Jiujiang Police Station? I wish to make a report. There's been a murder at Jiang Yuan Apartments. Yes, and it should be a female victim. The hiding spot should be inside a fridge. I suggest you investigate rooms that are supposed to be empty but have to pay exorbitant electrical fees. How do I know all this? Even if I tell you the truth and say that it was the victim herself who told me, I don't think you'd believe me. He hailed a taxi to get back to New Century Park. Chen Gu had not gotten a wink for the night, but he did not feel sleepy at all. He looked at the time and started to prepare for work. My haunted house needs to operate like normal, so I can't take too many employees with me. I need to leave behind OL, Bai and the rest to maintain order. Pushing open the door that headed underground, Chen Gu entered it with the backpack. Other than OL, Bai, I will have to bring all the other red specters with me, or else if they go on a rampage, the remaining specters won't be able to stop them. With the help of Tong Tong, Chen Gu placed the pair of red high heels and the recorder into the backpack, and then he had the boy with the stench and the headless woman enter Yen Danian's comic. The headless woman has improved a lot, but she is a bit too by the books. She was probably scarred by her experience with Zhang Ya. This can't continue. I will have to teach her how to be more rounded around the visitors. Red specters have personality issues, but I can borrow this perfect chance for them to learn how to relax. We will all go for a stroll. Hopefully, through this kind of activity, it will help build a correct team vision. If that's the case, I won't worry leaving them behind at the haunted house anymore. When he flipped through the comic, Chen Ji's eyes shone. He saw a person whom he had almost forgotten, Chiu Mei. Before entering the school of the afterlife, Chen Gu once received a mission related to a dead man's theater. It was at that scenario that he had been introduced to Chang Gu, and during the showing of the movies, he was privy to the presence of Chiu Mei. 
This half-red specter could be considered a sacrifice in Chang Wenyu's plan. Tragedy had befallen her, and her left eye had been dug out. Worst of all, she still did not know the truth. When Chang Gu wakes up, I'll have to take Chiu Mei to have a good conversation with him. Chiu Mei was just a half-red specter, but her ability was very unique. That time, she had been in possession of Chang Gu's movies, and she had shown off skills that could rival a red specter. Oh well, I will bring her with me. Her power should be able to come into good use at the futuristic theme park. Chen Gu handed the management responsibility over to Dr. Wei and had OL by remain to quiet down the restless spirits. After ensuring that there would be no more problems, Chen Gu walked out from the underground scenario. He carried the backpack into the staff break room. Chen Gu lay on the bed to rest for a while. When all the employees arrived, he briefed them on his plan. Today, I will be going to the futuristic theme park for an educational exchange, so the rest of you will stay back to help me watch over the haunted house. If there are no accidents, I should be back by noon. After putting makeup on all the employees, Chen Gu was about to leave the haunted house when he was stopped by Director Luo. Chen Gu. Wait a moment. Director Luo, what's wrong? I just got the news that the futuristic theme park plans to use some underhanded tricks for your visit. Moreover, their haunted house does not employ conventional methods. They combine it with new technology, so you must be careful. Director Luo was still very worried. How about I ask several people to go with you? I really don't feel good letting you do this alone. Don't worry, I have done plenty of preparation. Furthermore, the theme park is lacking manpower now. There is no need to ruin the arrangement because of me. Chen Gu swung the backpack on his back. I'll be going. After dealing with everything, Chen Gu called a taxi to head to Eastern Jiujiang's futuristic theme park. He had just crossed the path that connected Eastern and Western Jiujiang the previous night, so he had a familiar feeling as he traveled down the same path. The futuristic theme park was built at the busiest part of Eastern Jiujiang. It was adjacent to two large rivers. Across the river was Xian High City, and once the bridge crossing the river was built, the location of the futuristic theme park would be the prime location that sat right in the middle of all the cities. I'll give this to them, they do know how to pick their location. The futuristic theme park's current location might not be as good as new century parks now, but that would quickly change in the future. Narrowing his eyes, the outline of the futuristic theme park appeared in Chen Ji's sight, it looked like a city from the future that was incredibly artistic. Even from the distance, he could hear the sounds coming from theme park. That showed how popular the theme park was. The theme park is quite impressive. It will be incredibly hard to resist the pressure that they bring. Only when he arrived at the futuristic theme park did Chen Gu realize how powerful their adversary was. No wonder they haven't been treating New Century Park seriously. The parking lot was full, and there were people everywhere. There were many tourist buses that herded visiting groups to this place. The futuristic theme park had their own system. Their customer pool was not limited to Jiujiang and the neighboring cities. Please subscribe to A7 English Podcasts and enjoy listening every day with us. Thank you.